hello world, uh, hi, hi to you, to your babies. I hope uh, each of you is doing well and I'm really excited. I can't believe that it's almost 4th of July. <laughs> Even if uh, as I'm doing this live, uh, it's uh, June 30th. Uh, but I'm very excited about uh, our live today. Uh, and I'm very excited about announcing uh, some uh, very interesting things happening uh, and just sharing with you um, like the changes happening in uh, pet pics, the changes happening in my life. A lot of you have been asking Mary Ellen what is happening here, what's happening with the magazine, Vasi or Mary Ellen. Hi to everyone watching live. I miss you, friends. You know, everyone has been asking, you know, what's happened with the podcast and etc. cetera. And uh, before I invite on uh, our guest um, uh, on, on, uh, on here on our live, it's, you know that it has been a year, but as um, uh, four years ago, four years ago uh, on um, July 4th, uh, I remember, uh, and <laughs> to everyone watching, hi friends, please leave a comment, hi, hi. And so at four in the morning, I remember that I woke up and I said, I am going to create a Facebook group. At that time, I didn't really know the name. Uh, hi, Lynn, so nice to see you there. Hi there, hi. I didn't know the name. I said, you know what? I'm passionate taking pictures. Uh, you know, my clients always have been asking me, Vasi, can you give us tips? I mean, going back 2016, 17, and I would just open this group. Fast forward, it, uh, I called it Pet Pix Academy. Fast forward. Uh, you know, I started teaching people from all around the world. Then we opened our podcast. We made it to top 10 in the U.S. So nice to see you, Stacey. Hi there. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for the compliment. Then fast forward. Uh, then, you know, podcast made it top 10. That made it in the half percent globally ranked podcast. And we did uh, the first pop fashion week. Uh, and uh, people, like I was inspired the day before, uh, and I said, well, you do fantasy, why not? I mean, you know, I love to create, like this always has been my passion, my love, the love of my life, you know, other than my family, it's, you know, you, my friends, and the pet parents. Uh, then we, well, I don't know, you know, we did so many things, um, and just kept creating, you know, we did like, over 300 podcast episodes and everything else. And then as you know, in the beginning of this year, my dad passed away and then my fourth baby passed away. And I really start thinking about what I really want to do with my life. And um, and here now I am uh, uh, going to invite our guest. And I can tell you uh, what I'm about to share with you, probably it's one of the... Uh, this was a very hard decision to make, uh, and uh, but I'm very excited about for everyone. And I just want to tell you, since I have been going through Pet Pix uh, magazine issues, we did seven of them. Uh, we did like Facebook, or like I was, you know, going on our Facebook group. I mean, currently we have like over 1500 followers on Facebook. We have like, I don't think, I think like 4,500 on Instagram, but it's, for me, it never has been about the number of the followers. Mm -hmm. It has been about uh, the numbers of the friends and the lives in a very positive and beautiful, inspirational way. Uh, people around me has changed. Uh, and this, it has been like the most beautiful thing in my life to see pet pigs thriving and new friends I mean all of this year seeing your baby seeing your pictures and you know everyone kept telling me and calling me you are the picture lady Mas, and I actually do laugh about it uh but in reality it's so much deeper it's like like people thought oh we just take pictures you just teach us Vasi take pictures you know friends we created honestly a very healthy and beautiful community and a new lifestyle in a beautiful way and just created the whole movement that it's not only taking pictures, it's not only 
taking videos. It's not only going to pet fashion shows or going to the groomer. It's so much more. It's about life being precious. It's about you loving who you are. And it's about you like appreciating every single day to the fullest. And it's so interesting. Like even today, you know, I met one of my friends and she asked me, so how are you doing Vasi? I said, how am I doing? Thank you, Paul. So nice to see you. Oh my gosh. So nice to see you, Paul. I said to my friend, how are you doing? I'm happy. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy because at the end of the day, what really matters is the, the joy. Like my whole entire perspective of life after I lost my dad completely changed and shifted. And if there is one thing, it really always has been super important for me. You know, I am the person who looks at the future. I am the person who said, I'm doing it with you. I said, I'm doing a podcast. I'm doing a live stream with 30 people, um, with 12 VIP speakers. I'm doing a women empowering event. I just had the idea. And a few hours later, I already had the whole entire layout. And it's now it continue being the future, at least for me. Like people ask me, Vasi, where have you been hiding? Well, Vasi, behind the scenes, keep learning new programs. Keep like, like, like I'm changing overnight as an artist. And with that said, like in a beautiful way, I said, well, it's time for me to focus on a slightly different path, to go in a different direction. And so of course it hasn't been easy, but I have a bestie here and my bestie it's Mary Ellen. And so for those of you who doesn't know Mary Ellen, let me tell you friends. So Mary Ellen was, the lady who going back 2019 after I, I opened, you know, at that time, which just was the photography, taking pictures like a community group. Uh, it wasn't also, it wasn't pet pics yet. She said, I live in university, <laughs> going to volunteer my time. And Mary Ellen since 2019, and imagine it, we are 2023, the end of June. Four years, she has been there next to me, my bestie. She has been my left hand. Well, today is the day when I am officially announcing that she is going to be to be the alpha. I am uh, like I spoke to her and I said, Mary Ellen, I am pivoting and going to a new direction in my career. So you asking what? A lot of you have been asking, well, because I DM you, I said, Mary Ellen is taking over the magazine. Mary Ellen, it's taking over the Facebook group, over our Facebook page and over uh, our Instagram. We are going to change our name. But the good news is that I'm still going to be here, but behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So Mary Ellen said, Vasi, if you feel up to it, do live. So I am going to be doing very few lives. Uh, but a lot of you have been asking, so Vasi, what are you doing? It's so sad. I'm like, don't be sad about me. Be excited yes, about me. Because now I will spill the deal. What I'm doing now, I am co-writing books. My first book, it's about to be launched in Amazon. And I am learning all of this AI for design and 3D looks. And it's just like absolutely fascinating. And so I will be next to you, around you, behind the scenes, as Vasi knows as Pet Pics World, because the new of the Pet Pics World will eventually now, after I'm doing this live, Mary Ellen or I, we are going to change it to Lenai Legacies World. Uh, and uh, so it will carry on the mission under different name with slightly, uh, you know, different uh, scenes, uh, you know, like you're going to have the magazine, you're just not going to do the lives, I'm going to be doing lives here and there. Uh, and of course, we will continue catering through our uh, members, our followers. And again, it's not about the number, it's about you, friends, being very important. And with me pivoting in my new career and my new challenge, of course, I will be, I will continue being a pet photographer. I do love inspiration of stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised. I feel up to it like I used to, uh, you know, this uh, inspiration of writers pop up here and et cetera. I may not necessarily talk to you about pet fashion, 
I may just talk to you about regular pet portrait or whatever else I'm into my life, but just know that I am here still just behind the scenes. And I'm very happy, even if this decision was very hard. And I'm sorry, Mary, I will give you to, for you to talk. Uh, but, thank you, but I had to do it because I feel that, you know, like I always, like I always want to learn new things. And now I need to dedicate, you know, learning the new things to bring the new air to our community. So that's what's about me. And so you can feel free to leave comments. Uh, Mary Ellen, what would you like to say, Basti? Well, I, I wanted to say that um, th this is a lot of mixed feelings for me. Yes. Um, I have worked, like you said, I've worked with you for four years. Yes. And I was uh, with the magazine right from the very first issue. In fact, I have the first issue wrapped in plastic, put in a shadow box, and it's going to be oh, wow. uh, immortalized. <laughs> um, so, in that in that aspect, I'm I'm really going to miss you. And uh, in some ways, I feel kind of overwhelmed and lost right now. But in other ways, I'm so happy for you and for what you are doing. Uh, creative people cannot be tied down. And I know that. And you're a very creative person. And uh, so you need to move on to your your new role. And uh, that new role, you showed me a little bit of it just before the broadcast. And it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And I, I praise you for it. But I will always miss having you here working on the magazine, working on the group. Um, we have been in phone calls every day for I don't know how many years now. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it just we, we talk every day. And, and I'm really going to miss that. I, I will tell you right now, I'm really going to miss it. But I understand. And I need everybody to stand behind me. And, and help hold me up right now until I can adjust to uh, all of it and keep my own business going as well. So, uh, very talented uh, designer. And, uh, and I just want to tell uh, people, friends, by the way, thank you so much. I mean, here, like, cause you know, we have like amazing comments. Thank you. And yes, mm -hmm. believe in yourself and, and that, it's not going to change, you know, Janice, she said, people should never give up on themselves, enjoy life and exactly. all it offers. I fight for it every day. It's getting to know people like you, Vasi. Love you, lady. Thank you so much, friends. And I love each of you very, very, very much. And I know that I'm leaving you in very good hands because again, oh, Mary Ellen you. is the person who helped me, who led me, she was my left hand. She did honestly a very huge amount of the magazine herself. Uh, and the good news is that I am not gone. I told Mary Ellen, when you finish it, I will check it out and see like a little love from Vass, you know, even if I am busy with creating books and learning new skills and et cetera. Uh, and even uh, when we created, you created the Lenai and I actually would like to even, uh, you know, for you to share a little bit more about why Lenai Legacy World for now. But after you created, I said last night, oh, hold on here. Let's put a little bit of Vassi <laughs> Love and Sparkles and hear how, you know, it was born and uh, finalized. And in fact, uh, as you know, since we lost Chico, and, uh, you know, we adopted a new fur baby. His name is Jagger. Jagger, it's, uh, he's adorable. Uh, very different personality. He's here on my lap to support mommy. Say, yes, mommy. <laughs> yes, Mary Ellen. Yes, friends. But tell Peter, uh, people a little more about Lenai Legacy World and why did you decide to call it this way? A year ago, very suddenly, my Lenai passed away due to uh, a reaction to uh, the shots that she got in order to fly to uh, pause in the city. 
and she came home from she did it she did an amazing job on the runway for the very first time and i thought oh boy this is going to be perfect she's been my model um for she was my model for six years and she did such a beautiful job she knew to tell me when she was done didn't want to do the pictures anymore and she would lay down and put her head on her hands and that was it mom and otherwise she was she was a ham and she was the honoriest little thing you ever saw in all your life she brought me dead squirrels. She brought me, <laughs> she laid a, a hawk, on, a dead hawk on my chest one time. She just, um, she just had, uh, we, we got uh, two foot of snow just before she, we left the, the winter before we left to go to Paws in May. And she had her special place in her yard and it was covered with snow. So she dug that snow tunnel until she finally got to her spot. And she sat there and watched the world go by. She was such a special little thing and uh, so cuddly and so sweet. And I had groomed her to be uh, a runway model. And uh, the woman came home. Um, I knew she didn't feel good. I didn't know how to help her. Um, but then she went into respiratory distress and she passed away. She was six years old. and. I uh, I hurt so badly over that. And I swore to myself at that time that Lanai's legacy was going to go on. I didn't know how, didn't know where, didn't know what, yeah. but I started praying about it and asking God what he wanted me to do with Lanai's legacy. And then here came um, Bassie with asking me to take over the magazine and the group. And she explained that she would like to take the pet pics name with her. And uh, so I said, there you go. That's Lanai's legacy. So yes. she will be always uh, known. Yes, she will be. She will be. And I really want to encourage each of your friends to continue supporting Mary Ellen. Uh, and just really please keep inviting your uh uh, pet lover friends to join the group, uh, yes. the magazine as well. And now since it's Mary Ellen, it's not Basi. Mary Ellen is dedicated to have more issues uh, than me. Because you know, the truth is, friends, that since, I mean, and I hope no one of you really goes, since this is the moment of truth, uh, I hope no one really needs to experience this. But since, like, it was very devastating losing my dad. I'm yes. very grateful. I was able to go back to Bulgaria. I was able to show him the last time when I saw my dad, I remember I said that, I show him the magazine with your stories. That was like my dad, you had to see, he he got up, and like he was like looking at me. He said, oh my gosh, Basis. I showed him the pictures of your babies, my grandparents, his, my dad's parents. It was very emotional. But when I came back in US, I was completely heartbroken and I never thought that grief can take you this way. And oh, it's okay to talk about it. You know, Mary Ellen, you, I wasn't like, honestly, for weeks, friends, thank God I had to do some stuff for my photography for weeks. I mean, like even my husband didn't know how to talk to me you know, in a good way, because it was like, and like, and honestly, what really saved me was first of all, each of you, because I knew that I, I never will forget the first life I did this year, right after I lost my dad, I made myself for over 30 minutes. I had to convince myself, Vasi, go do it. You tell people to live their life and to understand, you know, like just to, like it happens to them, but they need to really let go and just continue living for the people who are the fur babies who are not with us. And then I remember each of you, honestly, you made me get up from bed. I mean, like, I cannot thank you enough. And then Stephanie Rogers, who it's really like, she is a grief cancer. And I really, she's amazing. We did so many podcasts, broadcasts, and, and she was so generous to write for the magazine. So I remembered her words when I really needed them the most. And this is what it really like helped me. But then people kept asking, where is the magazine? And I'm like, how to tell you, I can create now. And do you know, I, 
it, it's very fascinating the story of uh, Beethoven. It's he was creating, creating, and he had family problems. And then eventually, when he was ready to go back to, you know, to create, he he realized that he's, he's becoming deaf. But then he created some of the masterpieces in his life. And now it's the time uh, for Mary Ellen to create her masterpiece and for me to take on my new career as a masterpiece maker and creator and an artist and etc. And just, again, just I'm not going anywhere, but it's just I will be very like behind the scenes. Like I don't know, I may do one live a, a month, you know, or maybe once every two months. So, but I will be checking stuff if you have questions. And you know, people ask me so vastly. First of all, I like I I help with the design. I will continue here and there looking at over the magazine. I will continue being for a while an admin to the Facebook uh, group. And etc. I just yes. encourage you to to be kind and to be nice. And by the way, thank you. I mean, we continue help, having, but it's so nice to see you, Mary. Hi there. So things are just kind of changing, but not as much changing. And don't be sad for me. Be happy for me. Don't be sad about because this is a good change. This is a fantastic change, and you're in a very good hands. And so Mary Ellen said, "So Vasi, well, I will create the magazine." Uh, issues more often of like that's fantastic I just couldn't do it with everything what I was doing because you don't know I mean I have been creating like the first book I have been working on months for it there is have have. Uh -huh. you know but then I did it was ready to be published and mm -hmm. then I went to water into AI uh, art design I and I challenged myself so Bas, you have to learn it well truly friends for over a week I completely changed. So I had to redo with the person I work with. Obviously, I'm the design. I had to redo the whole book. And I'm like, great. So, so it's everything happens overnight. But that's in a positive way, is the way life works. It's yes. beautiful. You know, you start something and then you get inspired. And why I'm sharing with this is that when you have ideas, don't throw them in the garbage. Just as long as like you are healthy and your four babies are healthy. And I'll just go with it. What to lose? Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose, right? Only to gain. And that's how I live my life. Otherwise, I never would leave Bulgaria to come here. I mean, like, and people, they don't know. But when I came here 13 years ago, because May 3rd was 13 years. Oh, my God, I barely spoke English first. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, and then you still corrected my, and I still make mistakes when I arrived. Yeah, well, part of life. <laughs> I joke. Nowadays, even if I joke with my friends and family, I'm a foreigner. I don't speak English. And they're like, Vas, it doesn't work anymore, right, Maria? <laughs> <laughs> right, Jagger? Yeah. Hello, handsome boy. Oh, my gosh. So before we are done, and by the way, thank you again. I, I can't believe well, all the time we're having a lot of people watching you know, thank you, friends. You know, I see very beautiful uh, comments and I see here, you know, you know, uh, from Janice, she says, you have such a big heart, Mary Ellen, you know, you will be supported. Yeah. And, and I believe in this because, you know, thank you. You were amazing, Mary Ellen. You're very, like, friends, you have to understand, Mary Ellen, it's a very talented, one of a kind pet clothing designer. And even if she's slammed with orders in a beautiful way, creating this one of a kind outfits for babies, doggies, uh, you know, and you also did kitty cat, you do girls and boys, you do small pets and larger size pets. You still never said, I don't have time for you, Vasi. You go and fix your magazine. Like so many times I would send you Thursday night or, you know, Monday night. Can you fix the notes for the podcast? You know, because even grammar you cannot do you know, sometimes. Uh, like Mary Ellen was the best. And by the way, thank you, Lee, thank you. Know, to support both of us. So just know I am here and I'm not going anywhere, but be happy for me. Anything else you want to say? And I'm sure people will keep commenting and etc. I will share this on my uh, personal uh, Facebook. And again, I will, you can always find me. Uh, under Vasi Seidman and as we speak I am changing here now uh, the Facebook cover so you can find me under Vasi Seidman I'm not going anywhere uh, I just want to say I'm not very active on Instagram under my account okay Mary Ellen I changed it here it's okay thank you 
Uh, now we are officially, just we'll change the name, but we are officially the nice Legacy World uh, Facebook group uh, for design. Uh, and very soon we will be per name. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm still going to keep here. So here and there, you can ask me about uh, pet photography tips because, you know, I, I'm here. I always will enjoy taking pictures and just, you know, show your support uh, and just expect, you know, very soon we'll do the rest of the transitions uh, and just know that we love you and have an amazing and lovely and wonderful 4th of July. And um, yes. for me, it's very important to do it today, right before the weekend, the long weekend start. Uh, and people can be asking, Savasi, what are you planning? I can tell you, friends, I'm going on vacation in a few weeks. I'm going to, uh, uh, to the museum in uh, NASA here close by. So mm. that's is going with my family. I already have my T-shirt, NASA. So that's yeah. my vision to create. Yeah. In a, but my goal is to launch my book uh, prior to that. So you stay tuned. Obviously, Mary. Well, that's that's good. That's good inspiration for you because they launch things all the way to the moon. So that should inspire you to launch your magazine, your book. There you go. It does. I'm very influenced by this in a beautiful way. And who knows what I, I don't know, I have so many books in my head. It's insane. So I just keep asking, you know, my friend, I write the books with them, like, so which one do you think is going to be the next? Like, like two nights ago, I was walking and all of this idea for the new book, it just came, start pouring at two in the morning. I'm like, let me write down everything so I don't forget it. So creation, it's everywhere. Creation, friends, it's even uh, cooking a beautiful meal. Creation, it's redecorating your home. Uh, creation, it's letting go. One of the hardest things of, uh, for us as a human, it's letting go. But when you let go, as hard as it is, it's typical beautiful new thing come, a new chapter in your life. And it's a new chapter for the Pet Peaks community, or now we have the new name. So <laughs> any last words you would like to say, Mary Ellen? And here I would show Jagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jagger, so cute. And I don't know where my fur baby is. I think he's uh, in there curled up at his daddy's feet. <laughs> he, uh, and, and when daddy's gone uh, running an errand for mom, he's in here giving me trouble because he wants me to pick him up and I have to sew. And I can't get him to understand that I have to work once in a while. But then we put on uh, a live and he disappears, but <laughs> he's a mess today anyway. He needs a bath. I just want to say I hope all of you will support me and help me through this endeavor. I, the first magazine I'm putting out by myself uh, will be uh, going to the publisher on the 15th. So if you have articles that you would like to put in or you have a birthday child, uh, fur child, that you would like celebrated, or maybe you've lost one and would like a memorial in there, I'd be more than happy to put them in for you. And um, any articles that you think would be creative and good, bring them on. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy reading every one of them. And uh, I look forward to working with you even more than I have in the past. I mean, I've always been here, but now I'll really be here. <laughs> really here, yes, really. Yeah. And I just want to also to remind my awesome uh, virtual friends that uh, still, you know, we will live in a different time zones. So when yeah. you, and I'll make sure Mary Ellen is here. You can also find her under Mary Ellen Designs. Uh, so when you message Mary Ellen, I would encourage you DM. That's one thing, like a few tips about social media communication. Yeah, you can leave a comment, but you know, sometimes as Mary Ellen, it's volunteering her time in different uh, Facebook groups and having her own business and et cetera. Uh, and you're still recovering. You had a, a second surgery a few months ago and et cetera. So if you'd like to send your article, she would give you her email and you're going to send it to her. Uh, as you know, I mean, Mary Ellen will kind of uh, uh, carry on in a beautiful way that, you know, re pet recipes, the birthdays, if you hear about any amazing uh, fundraising pet events. So oh, all those things, 
the core of pet peeves is lives on. Yes. Lives on. And that's you. That's yeah. you and yep. your four babies. That's very clear you with capital letters. Both yes. nowadays with my skills, I can even do it 3D or AI. <laughs> I can do it for you too. <laughs> so just, you know, no, believe in yourself, you're special, your babies are special, and just love yourself. And there is there is one thing, uh, you know, so it's important to make sure when you post and send pictures to Mary Ellen for the magazine, the high resolution. If you ever need tips, tell me how you come and do a live for you, uh, friends, uh, for, you know, the you know, if you have any questions, photography That's related, nice. I, you know, I, I'm, again, I'm still here. <laughs> So, you know, keep this in mind. And Jagger is saying, Mommy, I had enough here. Um, you know, you're doing life in here, you're talking. Uh, and, uh, and that's it. just enjoy life, be happy, and please, at least once a day, do something good for you and for your four babies, you know. And uh, true story, funny story, a few years ago, you know, when my sister in St. Basia will meditate, I would say, oh, you're the crazy person. <laughs> I don't believe in meditation nowadays as I meditate uh, even hours sometimes. I can tell you that sometimes even closing your eyes, turning on some beautiful music, hugging your fur baby, it can be the most beautiful thing you did for yourself. But just know that you deserve it. Know that I love you. And just know how much I love you and how much I appreciate you. And just know that these four years have been one of the most beautiful years in my life and i will continue being around and just just know i love you friends he says cooks now share this live let's you know it's okay we can announce to the pet community about the new name yes, uh, yes. invite them and just you know one more thing friends um uh, you can always uh if you don't know on facebook you can pin a facebook group uh, so you can continue seeing the activities. And if you sometimes get overwhelmed, you can go and check uh, your notifications. So when you open your social media, you can receive only the notification. As you know, doing so many podcasts, you know, I did over 600 videos and broadcasts. And over you did quite a few. I know. It's, it's insane. <laughs> to go on social media, it's insane in a beautiful way. It's not about me. It's about our community. And just... Um, you know, so if you get overwhelmed, manage the notification, but, you know, definitely pin the new group and follow it and invite your friends and be part of it. You know, sometimes people say, oh, who wants to see my baby? Why should I post? My oh, picture I want to see it. Enough. Let me tell you, friends, your pictures are beautiful. It's not about the quality of the pictures. It's about sharing the moment. And if yes. you bring one smile to one pet parent, it was all worth it. And sometimes you take pictures for the world and sometimes you take pictures for us. So let's, Lenai Legacy World and pets our family around the world continue being a very successful and amazing platform, highlighting, sharing with the world your stories of you and your four thank babies. You. So thank you for the honor. Thank you, Mary Ellen. I'm excited for you. Thank you. And let's continue having fun. Thank you. I love you. I love you, friends. I bye, love bye. you. Thank you. Bye-bye.